بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله من لا نبي بعده Dear viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to our show Touching Minds Touching Minds is the important show where we have learned the important topics of Islam and our main aim to pass the beautiful message of Islam to our teenage to our towards our boys and girls sisters towards our viewers alhamdulillah rabbil alamin today i have got two wonderful students with me first one is abdul samad assalamu alaikum abdul samad wa alaikum assalam how are you abdul samad today good alhamdulillah how are you ustad alhamdulillah i'm good really good alhamdulillah another my beloved student is naim rahman assalamu alaikum naim wa alaikum assalam how are you today naim i'm very good ustad what about you alhamdulillah i'm really really good naim Dear viewers, today inshallah, we'll discuss about so important points, important topics, which is Islam, Iman, and Ihsan. First of all, I would like to ask Abdul Samad, we are the Muslim, alhamdulillah, these are the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our religion is Islam. Yes. What is your understanding about Islam? الإسلام أن تشهد أن لا إله إلا هو وأن محمد رسول الله وتقيم الصلاة وتؤتي الزكاة وتصوم رمضان وتحج البيت بيتا إني استتعت إليه سبيل إسلام is to testify that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah and Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is the messenger of Allah it is to establish salah Yes. It is to um, give the zakat. Yeah. It is to fast in Ramadan. Yeah. And it is to go to the house of Allah, which is the Kaaba, in the time of Hajj for pilgrimage, uh, if you are able to do so. Very good, mashallah. Do you know Naim? Or do you know Abdul Samad? Basically, once Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam came to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam like a human being, yeah, a man. Yeah. And he asked to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, "Mal Islam." Then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this answer. Very good, mashallah. Naeem, uh, alhamdulillah, Abdul Samad says, Antuqima salata, this is the Islam. Yes. What is your understanding about Antuqima salata? So, uh, when they say Antuqima salata, they're saying that you should establish the salah. And through establishing salah, it is, apart from the shahada, it is the biggest part of Islam. So, Allah is actually happy that we are Muslims. Yeah. He says, وَرَضَيْتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ Yeah. He says, I am happy for you that your deen is Islam. So, we have to fulfill our deen by establishing salah. Good, mashallah. Abdul Samad, why do we have to pray salah? Why salah is important? Um, Allah created us. Yeah. And because we are His creation, we must worship Allah. Um, the jinns and humans, we yeah. both worship Allah because we are both His creation and uh, we must worship Allah five times a day because that's why He ordered us to do so. That's وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created humankind and jinnkind only to worship Him. Very good, mashallah. Next one is وَأَتُوا الزَّكَاةَ Naeem, why is zakah is important? Zakah is important because there are obviously people our own fellow Muslims who are less fortunate than us. So we should, if we are in comfortable positions ourselves, we should sacrifice some of our dunya because it's not that important in the long run. Subhanallah. That means the poor people has a right over the rich people, yes? Yeah. And the rich people has to donate something to the needy people. This is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Not something actually. The two and five percent from their wealth, they have to Pass to the needy people. Yeah, this yes. is Zaka. Alhamdulillah. Abdul Samad, one is the important pillars of Islam. You said already, uh, uh, Baita, uh, uh, House of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do the pilgrimage Hajj. Why Hajj is so important? Uh, hajj is important because it's uh, the last pillar of Islam. Mm. So it is fundamental because it's, uh, it's, it um, determines your complete faith mm. in Islam. Um, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he went, he w did his pilgrimage uh, to, um, 
to Ma Mecca, and uh, we are we are expected to do so uh, to imitate him. That's fine, mashallah. Uh, Naim, did you go to the uh, house of Allah subhanahu wa taala to visit it? Oh no, I haven't been. So ah, okay, mashallah. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa taala will give the ability. You will visit the house of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So, look, Al Kaaba to Baitullah. Kaaba is the house of Allah subhanahu wa taala. The one who is a believer. The one who has a wealth to able to visit the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to spend the money, they must have to go once in their lifetime to visit the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the Hajj. Another pillar of Islam is fasting in the month of Ramadan. Naim, can you tell us about the fasting in the month of Ramadan? So fasting in the month of Ramadan, it helps to focus us on yeah. our deen because we're constantly thinking about Allah and in other months, we may be tempted to waste time doing yeah. things like eating. But then in Ramadan, we, uh, we don't eat yeah. and we don't drink. And instead, we spend more time thinking about Allah and thinking about our religion. Excellent, mashallah. That means the five pillars of Islam is Shahada, Salah, Zakah, Hajj, and fasting in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan. Fasting in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan. Abdul Samad. These five things, when a Muslim perform there in their lifetime, they are the practice Muslim. They are the practice Muslim. Practice Muslim. And if somebody practice Muslim, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them as a people of Jannah. Tell us about Jannah. Uh, Jannah is the et is eternal abode yes. of happiness mm -hmm. and joy. Uh, in Jannah, there will be rivers of milk and wine and the, uh, the wine is not intoxicating, yes. it is beautiful wine. Um, you, will, you will be adorned to the fruits of paradise yeah. and you will dwell therein forever, inshallah. Naim, your name is Naim, but one of the Jannah name is Jannatul Naim. Do you know Naim? Yes. Okay, do you want to go to Jannah? Yes, <laughs> inshallah. Inshallah, may Allah inshallah. subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us. Tell us about the Jannah. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create? In Jannah. Yeah, so Jannah. in Jannah, there are obviously there will be rivers of honey, and then uh, you can have whatever you wish for, inshallah. So, but to get to Jannah, we have to work very hard in this life. Of course. We have to make sure that we always think about our deen, yeah. and we have to try helping other people and always being good. And inshallah, if we do these correct actions, then we will make it to Jannah together. What do we understand about the practice the deen? There are lots of people, their name is Alhamdulillah, Abdul Rahman, Abdullah, Islamuddin, but uh, they do not <coughs> practice the deen. Yes. What do you understand about the practicing the deen? Practicing the deen, it includes the first step is obviously to establish your salah yes, five salah. times a day yeah. regularly. And then after that, you spend more time doing other forms of ibadah, such as reciting the Quran, Quran. and just learning more about your religion. So hadith, yes. you can read uh, old texts which will help you to learn more about your deen. Does mean practicing the deen is you have to do the all of the righteous deeds, good deeds, yeah? Yes. And avoid the bad deeds, isn't it? Yeah. Can you tell us, Abdul Samad, what type of the bad deeds the bad deeds uh, the youngsters are still doing now at the moment? So uh, at the moment uh, youth they are uh, involving themselves in like drugs. Drugs. Um, um, they are involving themselves in lying, you know lying. Uh, they are uh, Girlfriends, boyfriends. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Um, they are involving themselves in uh, uh, alcohol or intoxica intoxication. And the teenage and age. Yes, teenage age. And and, and also they are um, not they are abandoning their salah, which is very important. And uh, they are uh, wasting time. Wasting they're time. Not reciting Quran. They're not uh, to reciting Quran. Delaying their prayer. Uh, watching uh, inappropriate haram stuff they are um, uh, okay that's fine Naeem uh, Abdul Samad already mentioned some name of the bad stuff isn't it yes. still the youngsters are getting involved yeah the, what is your idea how the youngster is stay away from this kind of bad stuff uh, so it's very easy to stay away from these bad stuff uh, first step I would say is you should 
all the people you surround yourself with, you mm -hmm. should surround yourself with good, righteous people. Mm -hmm. And then because you're a reflection of your friends. So if you stay around good people, then they will have a good impact on you and you will be able to become like them. But if you stay around bad friends who uh, are commi committing these sins, like doing drugs together, then you're going to become like them. Very good. Okay, we have learned uh, the, about Islam. Yeah, we are topic is about Islam, Iman, and Ihsan. Okay, Naim, tell us what is Iman, Mal Iman. So, uh, in a hadith, Jibril alayhi salam he came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he asked him Mal Iman, hmm. and the Prophet replied sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He replied. He replied. Uh, and to billah. Hmm. Wal hmm. wa rusul hmm. wa kutub wal kutubi wal kutubihi wal rusulihi hmm. wal yawm al akhir yes uh, wal qadrihi wal khayrihi wa sharri yeah. so from this we learn that the first step is to have uh, full faith in Allah yes and then we need to believe in Allah's messengers yes his books I like aman to billahi believe in Allah yes. and second one is his Angels. Angels. Yeah, his uh, angels. Sorry. Third one is? Uh, his holy books. Yes, holy books. Then uh, his messengers that he sent down. Yes. And then fifth is the last day. Last day. And sixth, lastly, is uh, Al-Qadr. Al-Qadr. What is the Al-Qadr? Yeah, the predestination. What is Al-Qadr? Al-Qadr is predestination. Hmm? And it's the idea that Allah, he knows what will happen. And yeah. he has already planned what will happen for us humans. That means in your whole life, what is going to be happened? Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already decided. And all of the good, all of the bads come from? Allah. Allah. Everything is come from? Allah. Allah. Abdul Samad, believe in Allah. What do you understand about believe in Allah and the shahada, faith? Um, be belief in Allah, uh, uh, and billah. Mm? Um, you must believe in the existence of Allah. Yes. You must believe in his lordship, yeah. Rububiyyah. Yeah, Rububiyyah. Uh, we must worship him alone. Yeah. He, no one has the right to be worshipped except mm. him. So these people, they are worshipping uh, um, like stones or other people. This is haram. Mm. The only person that deserves worship is Allah and that is called Uluhiyya. Mm. Uluhiyya. Uluhiyya. And also we must um, believe in the attributes and names of Allah. Attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Can you tell us uh, some attributes of Allah? What is the attributes of Allah? So an attribute of Allah would be um, Ar-Rahim. He is the most merciful. Yes. Um, Al-Aziz. Al Al-Aziz. The yes. Almighty. Almighty. Um, uh, As-Samad. My As own name. As-Samad. Yes. Um, your name is MashaAllah. You are Abdul Samad. Yes. You are going to be the real Abd, the servant of Allah, isn't it? May Allah accept you, a real Abdul Samad, inshaAllah. Uh, as it has two meanings, the eternal, eternal. and uh, the sustainer of the sustainer. all uh, living. Okay. Yeah. Naim, can you tell us some attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Uh, so, another attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the wise, Al-Hakim. Al-Hakim, good, wise. Yes, the wise. Yeah. And, and then you have uh, Ar-Rahman, oh. his surname. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, the compassionate, yes. Yes. because he knows how to show compassion with all his really? creation. Mm. Do you know Abdul Samad? Another beautiful attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is as ar, um, as Samir, Al Basir, Al Alim. That means as Samir, what we are telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to hear what we are talking. And what we are doing, Allah used to watch it. Yeah. What we are doing, Allah used to know it. That's why Allah Alim. Excellent, mashallah. Allah Samir and Alim will basir. Excellent, mashallah. Naim, like uh, aman to billahi, believe in Allah. If somebody just believe in Allah and does not believe in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is he going to be a believer? No, this is not uh, fulfilling his iman mm -hmm. because the six points in yeah. the hadith, yeah. we have to fulfill all six of them yeah. to have full iman. Mm -hmm. So as long as as well as believing in Allah, mm -hmm. we also should believe in. Uh, all of his messengers, such yes. as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, need to uh, believe in the unseen, such as the jinn and all the angels that Allah has. Yes. And uh, we should also believe in the other, all the other points. So uh, the holy books, we need to believe in all this. 
We need to believe in Al Qadr. We need to believe in the last day. And only then can we have a full Iman and full faith in Allah. Very good, mashallah. Abdul Samad, what is happening in the last day? Um, on the last day, um, Allah, he, uh, he will get Israfil mm -hmm. to blow the trumpet. Yes. And uh, all of the creation, yeah. they will be destroyed. And uh, on the last day, it will be the sun will be brought an arm's length mm -hmm. away from our faces. So it will be extremely hot and we'll be, um, we'll be flooded in our sweat. That's how hot it will be. And uh, on the last day, if you are if you are good Muslim, you will be mm. protected by the shade mm. uh, from the arsh of Allah, mm. and uh, inshallah, we w we can try to um, be part be, be one of the people who it, who will be covered by the shade Very of Allah. Mashallah. Okay, Naim, uh, Abdul Samad this explained about Islam. You explained about the iman. My question is, what is the differences between iman and Islam? So the difference between iman and Islam. Uh, one of the main differences is that Islam <laughs> is what we practice. Yeah, we so it's described as what you do with your limbs yeah. and uh, all the actions that you do. While mm. Iman is your faith and it is mm. one what is in your heart. Mm. Because if it's not in your heart, then mm. what you believe will will be changed. Mm. So uh, our belief should is Iman and then our actions and all the things <coughs> that we do, that is our Islam. This is the Islam. And yes. what is the Iman? Iman is all everything that we believe, everything in our hearts. Okay, Iman is in heart, and uh, Islam is in our action. Yes, is it true? Iman is in our heart. Yeah, uh, Islam is in our action. That means we can pray. Whenever you are pray, people can see. Whenever you are going to give the charity, people can see. When you are going to fast, people can see. When you are going to do the Hajj, people <coughs> can see. But no one can see our Iman. Yes. I believe in Allah, no one knows except me. Isn't it? Yes. Al Ghaib, the unseen. All the unseen things is the Iman. No one seen what is the Jannah is. Where is the Jannah is? But Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has visited the Jannah. Do you know name? Yes. Visited the Jannah. But Iman is unseen and Islam is seen. Islam is? See. Our another important point is Ihsan. This is the highest stage of Iman. Yeah. Tell us, Abdul Samad, what is Ihsan, Mal Ihsan? Uh, Ihsan is the perfection in worship. Yeah. It's when you have the fervent desire yeah. to want to worship Allah mm -hmm. and you uh, persistently want to worship and you love worshipping. Mm -hmm. um, if we cannot reach this level of, mm -hmm. uh, of Ihsan, mm -hmm. then we are expected to reach the level of worshipping Allah out of fear. So um, the Prophet Sallallahu said, فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكُ فَإِن لَمْ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكُ That's good. فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكُ um, And if you are not able to see him, mm -hmm. then know that he sees you. Yeah. So we should worship Allah as if, he, as if, he, as if we can see him and we should uh, be afraid that Allah has ready the punishment for us if we do not worship Him. Excellent, mashallah. Uh, does mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us to worship Him, isn't it? Yes. And ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tarahu fa illam takun tarahu fa innahu yara. You will worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as, uh, as you see Him, isn't it? If you don't achieve this quality, you must understand Allah is watching you. How do you worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala na'im? So, the ways of worship is called mm. ibadah. Ibadah, yeah. And uh, there are different ways of ibadah. Mm. So we can have, the first one I would say is establishing salah. Establishing this salah. is the most important one, yeah. I think. And then after that, we do things like dhikr, remembering mm. Allah. Dhikr, okay. What is dhikr? How can you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So, when we make dhikr and remember Allah in our spare time, uh, just saying simple words like Alhamdulillah. Yes, we'll Alhamdulillah is the zikir. Yes, yes. this is the tasbih. And uh, you say Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah is the zikir. Very good. Naim. Then uh, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. This is the tasbih. Yeah. At tasbih is zikr. At dua is zikr. At salat is zikr. At tilawat al Quran is zikr. Abdul Samad, what is the zikir of Allah? How do you remember Allah? 
um, we can uh, recite Quran to uh, remember Allah. Yeah. Um, we can, um, but even by praying, we yeah. remember Allah. Yeah. Uh, like Naim said, dhikr. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And uh, even doing um, simple acts like yeah. uh, having the intention to do good, you will remember good Allah. Gifts. Yeah. And uh, giving salam and yeah. s and uh, smiling and uh, reading hadith of the Prophet is, Excellent. Uh, is uh, remembering Allah as well. Yes. That means Al Ihsan, the word, comes from the root Hassan. Al word Hassan. Hassan means beautiful. Hassan means nice. Hassan means gentle. When you are going to do any deeds, you have to do it gently, nicely, beautifully, excellently, isn't it? Yes. Like uh, Naim, you are going to pray. Some people used to uh, pray about, like, say, Allah, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, uh, saying the uh, Qirat very quickly, doing the Ruku very quickly, doing the Shazda very quickly. Is it with Ihsan? No, this is not with Ihsan. Yeah. Uh, because with Ihsan, you're doing it out of your own will, yeah. only to please Allah. Yeah. You have to have ikhlas, ikhlas. Si sincerity. What is ikhlas, Naim? Ikhlas is sincerity. Mm -hmm. So when you make your actions, mm -hmm. like establishing salah, you shouldn't do it because other people are watching you. Mm -hmm. You should do it out of the goodness of your own heart. Subhanallah. But uh, your understanding is not, people can see. Your understanding, Allah will see. Yes. Yeah? Yes. For the sake of? Allah. For the sake of? Allah. Whatever you're doing, you have to do it properly. Yes. Whatever you are going to do, you have to do it properly. Can you tell us uh, what is the status of Ihsan? Uh, the status of Ihsan is the top, top um, level. It's the best level of worship. Yeah. Um, that, that's why it, it means perfection in worship. So when you pray. What you is perfection? Perfection is um, the best stage. So uh, you put in your, mo your utmost effort, mm -hmm. you will um, per persistently turn to Allah, you will. Uh, you will not engage in um, haram acts, mm -hmm. and you will um, take time in mm -hmm. your in your worship. So, yeah. like you said, you cannot uh, hurry in your prayer. Yeah. You will take time. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu he said the best um, the best prayers is the one with the longest standing position. Yeah. So, ones with the long standing position, long surahs, uh, that getting to that stage is ihsan. That's good, mashallah. Do you know the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whatever you are doing. Do with Ihsan. He says, if you slaughter something, slaughter by the sharp knife. Slaughter by the sharp knife. What does this mean, Naim? So, if we slaughter an animal with a sharp knife, yeah. then it is more painless mm -hmm. and its death is quicker. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this way, uh, it doesn't cause as much harm to the animal mm -hmm. because we are only killing it as a sacrifice to Allah. Why is Ihsan significant? So Ihsan is significant because uh, it gives you a higher status mm. than all the other Muslims. Yeah. And this way, it really ensures that you are in a good position to qualify for Jannah. We have learned today Islam about the Iman, about the Ihsan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us ability to understand what is Islam. May Allah give us ability to make us a perfect and practicing Muslim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a strong iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us ability to understand what is ihsan and practices. Dear viewers, Jazakumullahu khairan to, show, to watch our uh, show, uh, Touching Minds. Uh, you are invited to watch the next show as well. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.